stay so long. This song is based on your life and the song has been called to the witness is son in Mara. Thank you very much. The letter sheet. As please, Honorable Court, my request that the witness be seated. Mrs. Lover, may I ask you, can you tell the Honourable Court why is it that both Mrs. Nwepe as well as Mrs. Masong Ganye testified that on the 26th Masong Ganye on the 26th of June 2013, you were crying hysterically and phoning people, telling them your sister passed away, even before the body of your sister Audrey Somisa Nwepe was discovered. Um, Mandov, Engan Zela Kateku, Ian Lishinga and Jaku Lava Bambiri, Emanuepe Nadua Waka Masangan, Ibumber Cabona, Batam Seleku, T twenty sixth June twenty thirteen. Our Kurilens Nen, our Rila Ukarofonela Nanavan, Ubat Zela Shaku, Sesawena Ulovil, Nambiluku, and Tumboyena Aungas Kumek. Se ulata tiba ke mi mero mfumu kui kwa la kaya ni Basha msele sheso iti 26th June Kuile shunga umelela Marod, I don't know why the two witnesses testified to that effect I'm saying so, my lord, because It's not something that I did I didn't do what they said I did, my lord. You see, but for both of those witnesses, when they testified to the effect that you took the two cups and rinsed the cups, you also disputed their evidence. Okay. Only now we come to the effect you actually admit taking the cups. Um, 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 my lord, initially what I disputed was that I took the cups and washed them. Yes. My lord, um, initially what I disputed was... Let's keep this as please. I'm addressing myself to you too. Now, the one in front, yes, aren't you very close to the lady next to you? There's a row between them alone. No, the, the, the two sitting in the just across the... Please just make a space. Thank you. Thank you. Let's respect the protocols. My Lord, I believe the interpreter was so busy. Yes. As the court pleases, my Lord, what the witness was saying was that what she disputed at first was that she took the two cups and went over to wash them. She says, no, that's not uh, uh, what happened. Instead, 
she concedes that she took the cup, but she only took them and put them inside a bucket. Um, she further explains, my Lord, that um, this is also contained in her bail affidavit, the affidavit that she used to apply for bail. It does show, it does indicate that um, she spoke about the two cups in that affidavit. Yes, and only after you were alerted to that fact did you admit that fact. Um, and then if if council Lord is saying that um, I only admitted only after I was alerted to that. Um, the bail affidavit, it's, it's quite older. It, um, it, it was used in the lower court. Uh, so how would my attorney would have known if only uh, uh, these uh, allegations were alerted to me now? Is when the, the attorney came to know about that because I made him aware of that. I told him that. You see, and I find it extremely uh, strange because the evidence of both Mrs. Mwebe as well as Mrs. Masangbanye <coughs> were to the effect that you were crying. And that portion of evidence is also corroborated by Sergeant Mabale. Mm. Why did you cry, Mrs. Ndlobu? Um Olakteba <laughs> Um, not, I don't know where these two witnesses, um, Mrs. Nwepe and Ms. Uh, Masangane, saw me crying. I don't know about that. But then, as to no, Mabale. The question whether you know, it's a question why would they say so? Um, you will recall that uh, when uh, you bet Mrs. Uh, Mwebe, uh, he refused initially and you persuaded her, you started crying and you fell at the gate next to the uh, house where your sister was in Rochelle. And at the gate they said, you know, follow me, you're following somebody. Say, why would they say so? Um, she could come back and one, man, look, Bona, I kuba wena uku au stevi ku bakubone ku urila. Ilesu vanga subula, bate bakubone eh, ukar urila, bate bakubone ili. Se, shibutiso eku, eku ala haka ini baba la vletan, eku, uslam siri na liya misi sungwe peku. Eh, au karungu rapela, karungu kombela, kongela, kongela lishwa ku, akwe eleketa, ufika uwa la geitin, ya muti luwa ala asesu awe, atamako, ahireko, atameko. Se ukar ufo unela na baanu uvula lesha ku ulobi lese swawe. Se buti soko iku iku ala kai nwa bule sheso ku ba kubone uri la ku mele la sheso. My Lord, I don't know why they testified to that effect. I don't know. And and earlier, my Lord, when the court asked the question, it was before um, the interpretation was completed. El um, the witness alluded to the other uh, uh, issue which uh, counsel asked about uh, of Mr. Mabale. She says she only cried in the room after the room was opened and she discovered that um, her sister passed on. Uh, that's when she cried in front of this Mr. Mabale. Um, that's when he saw her crying. Now, that's blatantly not true. Sergeant Mabale testified. He found you at the gate 
together with his colleague, you were crying. And he found it strange because nobody was, nothing was found yet. A body wasn't found yet. Ora in this successo e manduv, sajen ma bale afamba na mutiru mutiri kulor. Dukwa fika la bate kute yena bakume ageti manduv. Aor kurilen futi subia sun samari sajena sajen ma bale ku. Ku inkarlo auri la ewona. Aku ngase kumeka nzumbu wa sesawena. Aku ngase kumeka nchumu. Deshi ashinga kuenda kuurila. Meru wae na aunga sikumeka. Anza mimri ila yukulo kuzunzika kati kwa sija mabale na shuba na bat. Mkote kwa na mwa wopu hile ya ima geti. Mwa sana nsani ya geti. So lukandu ila anse kwa nda wangu dina mwa sana nsani ya geti. I did not cry. I was not crying. In fact, I was able, I was even able to to see their car as it came to stop at the gate. And uh, I went up to them uh, to meet them at the gate. So if I was crying, I don't believe that I would be able to do that. I would not have been able to do that, my Lord. See, because that aspect was never challenged with Mr. Sergeant Mabale. Shumani, makayo yaleyo, ye Piki ziwa eka Mr. Mabali. Marite ya mwenye nduku. Atla msela so yeso Sajet Mabali. Anga zanga kani tiwa yeso. Abzeri waku. Ayeso na ku. Ukume gete inu kaurila. Loko tuzuka kase. Aari kambi ujini. Shukane tilo shilo shesho. Na atla tukweto mtuzuka amu. Loko amu kuspeshi na ibu riyoku. Minde anga riyo. My Lord, if my memory serves me well. If I remember well. Even at the time when we were still in Palm Ridge, I disputed that, my Lord. Uh, and even my advocate, Advocate Soko, uh, during his um, turn for cross-examination, um, he disputed that on my behalf. That is, he put it to Sergeant Mabali that I was not crying. I don't have that in my notes, my Lord. Porque a ganar todo. Sale antes de tomar ese cuando arrastre de que she was crying, and Sergeant Silvani tried to comfort her, and then after they proceeded to the room section, that's the evidence that is on record. Porque a bomboni le dice, zinga cona, le dice va a cortar con zibona, y que el esbanco Hans Mandro, Iku, Samseloya, Sergeant Mabale, with Sani and Tony Mabale, Kubeku, a Lobafica Laya, Akara Afambana, Sergeant Shuluban, Bakukume Gate in Karuri, Sergeant Shuluban, Kubayena, Aku Congo Telaku, Ibukusuka Kuala, Nuke, Baya Machuin, Bakongo Malala, Keloderia, Kungana de Rumko. Mabale Umula Shalesh. My Lord, that is what Sergeant Mabali testified to. But I disputed that. I disputed that. Uh, I did say that uh, I was not crying. Um, I was able to see their car uh, coming to park at the gate, and I went over to them. I would not be, would, would not have been able to do so. Um, if I was crying. And, and even um, if they asked me as to why I was crying, I, I, I would have no explanation. I wouldn't be able to tell them why I was crying. You see, now the problem that I have with the evidence is both uh, Mrs. Mwepe as well as Mrs. Masong, Masongani testified that you were falling down at the gate, which is Factor one of Exhibit F. Do we have a photo of this? Factor one, Exhibit F. Lababa Miss Mwepe, Mrs. Mwepe, and Miss Masanga. Loko ba samse la ba ona ba te auri auri la uche uwa la ya a gatein ya la mutimbua. Kiti ya mutuluwa yale hivyo nakala kula haka photo number one, eka exhibit F. Do you see that? 
Kuos vai bon? Kuos bon asses? Nasu bon namarando anshin ta nasto selles. Aku na lando bon, aku na lando rla bon. I do see that manut, but I'm disputing that. I'm saying that uh, I did not do what they said I did, my lord. There's no way I cried and fell. Uh, I did not fall. I did not cry. Do you wish to continue? Well, okay, yes, I wish to continue, my lord. Mm. My Lord, um, just to add on that, you know, the first person that I entered through the gate into that yard with is Mrs. Nguepe. This other person that is being referred to, Miss uh, Sangan, uh, I did not see her there. Even if she was amongst the group of people who which was there, um, didn't see her. In fact, it was my first time to see her in court. I didn't see her there. Mr. Blogo, may I request you to answer the questions so that we can move forward and finalize this matter? Mr. Blogo, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask because strangely enough, we find also the evidence of Sergeant Mabale, who said at that exhibit in photo number one, you were found on the ground seated. Mm. Strangely enough, corroborating the evidence of Mrs. Mwepe as well as Mrs. Masanganya. Masanganya. Um, la Sisamarsa ku ngo fuko na manju. Iku, bumboni za Sergeant Mabale. Ushlam sile ku kwa laka exhibit F la ukombiwa kukona gate la ushlam sile ku hila banga fikapa kumako ur ahansi utame ahansi bumboni bzaye na sergeant mabali zisegetela le shinga bula i Mrs Mwepe na Miss Masanga. My Lord, I'm saying that I never cried. I was not on the ground. I was not sitting on the ground when Mabale and Shulubane came there. Um, I met them uh, outside at the gate. I went over to them. I was not crying. What they are saying, my Lord, I don't know where uh, they, they found this, what they are saying, my Lord. I don't know where they found this. Now, ma'am, if one takes a look at the um, room of the deceased in Exhibit F, you see Exhibit F in front of you, the photos. Look, we're going to go to the room of the Exhibit F, the photo. Look, we're going to go to the room of the Exhibit F. Was there anything stolen from the room? Yes, I was going to go to the room of the Exhibit F. I was going to go to the room of the Exhibit F. I don't know if there's anything that was stolen from the room, my lord. Uh, but the room was opened at the time when Sergeant Mabale and Shilubane were there. So I wouldn't know if there was anything that went missing from the room. Ma'am, please answer the question so that was there anything stolen? Shibuti so Iku. Ask who was there when they opened the 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 room. Shibuti so ko Iku. Ko le shi ashi ibuili lanzen ka room na. Ababu ti so ko imanar ko na loko room ipuri. I don't know. Did you at any stage borrow or uh, give your sister or three so many sound love for a fun? Um, kunang karilo. Unga ulomba sisi wena Audrey somi sandrovu ulomba phone kumbi unyi kafuna. Lokuna kwa taka kuma tifanyo taka kwa chote sisi kuna le anu unyi kyo kuna kwa mwan au phone ai ona kiki kuna kwa anu unyi kwa le mani yasi. Yes, um, there was a time when I acquired uh, phones through a, a cell phone contract uh, from Cell C. Um, I borrowed one of I borrowed her one of those phones and there was a time when 
one of the phones was not uh, working, it was not functional. And um, I, I let her use her, one of the phones that I acquired from Celsi through contract. After death? Anza kalo kusea lobili? Anza kalo kalo kusea What happened after her death? Did you use the phone after her death? Anza kalo kusea lobili, mutiter sil ti phone leta lo kusea lobili. This, this is uh, a cell phone that was in my possession, that I had it with me, my lord. Um, there were two of them, but then I can't tell you which one was using which number, uh, which she had given to me at the moment. I can't tell you which, which um, number um, I was using from the two cell phones. After the death of your sister, Odriso Misan Lobu, did you take back the phone? Say, Anza Kaloka Lobu, Odriso Misan Lobu. We take a phone now. I did not take uh, any other things um, from her place of residence. I only took her clothes. And, and that was after the funeral. That's, that's what I took. Ma'am, you know at the end, you are going to make some, some submissions <coughs> to the questions. The question is not whether you took the clothing or any items. The question is, did you take the phone back? Hmm. Ako yetelele nmandu, sita karata eko. Bata vula le swakwena. Aushamu le shubuti iso, ubaleke la kubala vla shukwini, e shubuti iso. Shubuti iso la, ahiku, una sui le shunga shute kandri na ye nana. Bakongo nga mkona kwa laan. Le shiba shubuti sa kumandu, eku, te cell phone le tea unglo mbe toona. Le kusea lobi ili makwenu, ubiye uti teka na, kumbe, ubiye uti teka cell phone ya le ya unglo mbe onako IT risa na. No, I did not. Okay, if we might proceed, my lord, or all. On that matter. And then um, I did ask you about the fact that um, Professor Leonard Peter Christian Janssen um, explained that it wasn't Audrey who made the phone calls to obtain life policies, but it was you. And what is quite interesting of his report, paragraph 15, it's not just only the pronunciation and sounds. Um, which you detected, but you had an extra factor because you were rolling your R's. And he found that to be enough uh, proof to find that it was in fact you speaking on that um, voice call, phone calls. Um, it wasn't your sister. In this area, I'm going to talk to you about Professor Janssen. Professor Janssen, you are going to talk to me about the anniversary of the Rawena and the Audrey. You are going to be able to talk to me about it. You are going to be able to take the life police. You are going to be able to talk to me about the Rawena. You are going to be able to talk to me about the Rawena. You are going to be able to talk to me about the Rawena. You are going to be able to talk to me about the Rawena. You are going to be able to talk to me about the Rawena. Odriso Misandrovi, kuwe loko, uvalavula, kama letere ya te ar, uvalavula, hindi na li kompeta kule shwa ku, waya rola, hile shu avula kso na mimero wa mfu, le shunga hamba ana luku, ba ingi sela ndela li, Odriso Misandrovi, aya vursa shiso. Um, Lord, what I'll say in, in answering that, in responding today, that is that I'm not the person who took the policies, my sister's policies. I'm not the one who applied for them, that is to say. And as to the findings of the professor, Professor Janssen, I, I don't know about that. And um, I, I 
can't say anything to it and more especially that uh, which he found about my way of pronouncing R's. Um, I, I, that's his expert knowledge. Uh, I cannot um, dispute that. I don't know about it. Bari shivangelo shakuba u take the couple of ya te sanza. Eku um Austi Valisa Kuna Lisunga Chile last is always so na Kalis Amisi no Ambi I think we tea kumbe kofi, sisi mirkus nuin laya, kuna lis on chili real casol. The send la we are we are ya take a titi couple out the chela matin, it is so austi wa kukunai. Mm. Lord, um, the two cups uh, that I took, I did not rinse them or wash them. I put them inside a bucket. And my Lord, if I had put uh, something in the cups or cup which my sister was using to drink um i would have washed or rinsed the cup at the time immediately after we were done uh, drinking tea or coffee i would do so because i wouldn't know who would come uh, afterwards and 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 discover uh, what i would have left there so i would not just have left the cups there and leave i would have rinsed them at that, that at that time when we're done drinking coffee or tea Ma'am, can you explain to the Honourable Court what is it that Audrey Sumisan Dorbu nominated you as a beneficiary <coughs> while she had a son, Mr. Brilliant Mashegu, the deceased in Count 12? See, in Angela Mandrubu, in Chile, she has a son, Audrey Sumisan Dorbu, Maquin, at Sikakutar Sangwanaoye, and a brilliant Mashegu, a cat police lady, Arnatona, a Azar Sawe. I don't know what made her to choose me, uh, choose to nominate me instead. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to move on. Thank you. If we can move to count 10. Mr. Mayeni Mashaba. Now, in the instance of Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, uh, both Mr. Mishak. Mudao as well as Mr. Bafana, Sidwell Lomuka, testify to the effect that you did not want anybody to know that you had meetings with Mr. Mayeni Mashaba. I was able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of Tuwa kale mbo ni za muda unashumuka Na wanga shamsena kuwena Na wanga shula bando kushitive kaku Wabona na mashangana Na meste maye ni mashava Hai, anusti riso shakume anga shula Antumutuka abuna kwa abunga tamani Mbula mbula na mwenye ni mbuku gaye Andari wa dibashitiva So kumoba shuma kuina anusti I don't know about that I don't remember my lord discussing or talking to Mayen Mashaba, telling 
him that I don't want people to know that uh, him and I are, are meeting or seeing each other. So as to um, the evidence given by the two witnesses, Modao and Shomuka, I don't know as to where this came come from. I don't know where they found all that. They heard you on the speakerphone when Mr. Mayeni Mashaba received the call from you. Barba could take a speakerphone. Carlo Mayen Mashaba, I'm Keller Pingraway and Raku Makaway. I need to show you a good over a silver phone under under corner. So this needs to be a good one. I'm going to let them sell a phone up under the rest of I don't know about that. When um, Mr. Mayen Mashaba received the call, I was not there. Um, but what I know is that I don't, I never told him that I don't want people to see us um, uh, meeting. Can I ask you what? Why did you have a meeting with the deceased, Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, on the 10th of April 2017? When Buddhist Salam Mandu, Uzunga Ba Na Nshangana, Uzunga Nshangana, Na Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, it is 10th April 2017. Yes, I did. Why? I had a meeting with him. Why? I am a curry meeting way in Kolaka in Ami Sanga. Um, whenever my lord I would go to Daviton, uh, usually I would call him. So that day was just like any other day. Um, I went to Daviton and did a search that is to call him. Although I was there specifically to do my hair. I did call him, yes. Right, but the witnesses relied that the deceased in counting, Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, was on his way to meet you. Kambe, tembon le tea tembir, lo ki samsera, ki te moufi, Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, lo a sa iwa kulaka nanzu wa uten, arinle leene ayak sangane na wena. My Lord, I don't know what um, the deceased Mr. Mayen Mashaba discussed with the two witnesses. I was not there. What I know is that I gave him a call to inform him that I'll go to a place called Esitlache to go and played my hair there. I told him that when I'm about to finish plating my hair, I'll call him to come over to me. But as to what and how he held discussions with the two witnesses, I don't know, my lord. Let's leave the two witnesses. So you and the deceased at a meeting. When was that meeting? Say, I, I, Tiki Lababambi, Timbuleta Timbi, remember. Mandro, I have a rival Balabo. We number Bambir now, my in Mashaba, maybe now meeting one win, and maybe Sangan. Say, a Uber green qui, I'm Sanganiqui. Yeah, we met at uh, that place, Esitlachini. He came over after I called him, I phoned him. Um, he, he came over, my lord. And why did you have to have a meeting with him? I I I I I go Shaku, Mibana meeting Nayen. Mibana meeting when Anna Namayen Masha. I go Melemali, I go like a bit over money. He asked me for money. He said he wanted to use the money for transport. He would want to, he would want to travel to Pretoria uh, to his um, uh, grand uh, uh, parents' place. So that is the reason why you made. See, so let's just go and look. Me zem sanga, me ba me sanga nilo wena ye. Yes, that's the reason why we met. Yes. Why didn't you just transfer the money to his bank account? Because like I know, unga zange uye rumela a bank account ya ye na uye transfer a kune. I had cash with me. I had cash in my possession, my lord, and um, he told me about that. That is to ask me. To help me him with the money when I was already 
on my way to Deviton. And why was that not put to the witnesses? Eh, zero angi. Eh, timbo ni letia. Emari tia ngonyan. Lava vambiri loko ba ni kavumbu ni kwa laka ni ba singa buru angi ekavu. Um, my Lord, if I remember well, if I my memory serves me well, whenever witnesses would complete uh, their evidence, would be done with uh, giving their evidence, Advocate Soko would come over to me and ask me um, if I had the evidence of the witnesses, what they had said about me. So I don't remember being asked that question. I was not asked that question. I only replied or responded to what he was asking me. Now it's at the talk of the game. See, Sublaku Nakambe says, I show Shosha advocate so. I show Shosha. No, 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 my lord. I'm not saying that it's his fault. It's not his fault. He came over to me and asked me as to whether we had a meeting that is myself and the deceased. I said yes, but he never questioned me. Um, and, and go into details about these questions. He only, only asked me as to whether we had a meeting with the deceased. I said, yes, the deceased has asked me for money because he wanted to travel to Pretoria. But he never um, asked me as to why I couldn't transfer, trans, transect or transfer the money over uh, to him, uh, to his bank account. You see because you even assisted the deceased with opening a bank account. Say, Wabona, eh, you could put some umpuna yena, Luamo, umpuna, Kuba, a got a bank account. Bank account, I Mm. Mm. Yes, um, he opened a bank account, but then him asking me for money, it, it's something that even when I left my place, I didn't set out to do. Uh, I only learned of it that he needed me to assist him with money when I was already on my way to Davidson. That's why I told him that, look, I'm going to Davidson, and um, when I'm done doing my hair, I'll call you to come over. Since I had cash with me, I said, I'll call you. I said to him, I'll call him when I'm done doing my hair, you'll come over to collect the cash. Then we also have the evidence of Sergeant Machiri, who says he found the phone in the deceased pants pocket, the pocket pants. And he dialed the last number on the call book. And strangely enough, the female answered. Um. Sumayan Gambe Summer South Mandro, Eko, you do Umboniza, Sergeant, Sergeant Machikiri, Longa Sam Salaku, Okume Foni, a local asset has quamas of Brukura. Movie, um, my name, my shop. If you look, I do make a phone there. I come up with a number. You have to let a young girl see. If you iPhone, the phone there. Look, I phone. I come from London. What's that? Female pick up. Explain to the female. We have a dead body here. Can you come? And the female said, "I'll be there soon. I know where is the area." Say. Ute uh, Sergeant Machikiri, look, I've come all the way to Ubi Angu Samsela ku. Ina munanga lo bala. Ina munanga afa. Unga kota kutana se munda way sata samla ku. Way tevan daulia utata. Utakota kuyafika. Ansa ni receive a call. 
Marod, um, I never received a call from Sergeant Machikiri. It was in fact my first time to see him when he was here in court testifying. Uh, I've never been to that scene uh, where the body of the deceased was discovered. The person who called me and notified me, my lord, about the death of uh, Mr. Mayen Mashaba is um, Bafana Shomuga Sada. So, ma'am, are you now expecting the Honorable Court to believe that even Sergeant Machikiri is in on this lying game against you? Say, Ulabaku, um, Koto Item Badeshaku, na Sergeant Machikiri. Mm. Uh, Lord, I'm not saying that um, Sergeant Machikiri is also into some scheme of lying against me. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm only disputing his evidence when he said that um, uh, he phoned um, and some woman answered the phone and I'm saying that uh, that is my Bafana's mother, the person that he spoke to because I was notified by uh, Bafana Shomuga's mother about the death of Mayeni Mashaba. So I'm saying that he spoke to um, Bafana Mother, not me. I'm not the person that he spoke to. I put it to you, ma'am. Sergeant Pachikiri correctly identified you as the individual who arrived exactly at the scene of crime less than a half an hour later. Kambe Nagujera came and Rufku. Yena Sergeant Machikir, it haku comba when I went a unga fika. Laya Kasin, Lakunga or Melakona Mangudi, Lavanga Kuma Kona, Tumbu, Wamufi, Mayen Mashaba, and Nako Ufiki Laya Kunga Sela Nanka Ruringana, thirty minutes, half an hour, say Bakume, Tumbulua La. I am this Mir Lavangumako, and who did not want to make a Dawian Chan. Nako Aaron Chan, and who did Anifikanga, and Anifone Langi, and Sanya. My Lord, I'm saying that's not true. It is not true. Um, I don't even know the place where his body was found. Uh, I don't know in what state, how he was when he was found. Sergeant Matsiki did not phone me. The only place that I went to after learning of the death of uh, my in Mashaba, it's Davidton. I went to Davidton. I put it to you, ma'am, that Sergeant Majikiri had no reason to lie and falsely indicate you by putting you on the scene. Many um, recall when I came, Mandrov. Sergeant Majikiri, Araba Shvangelo Shako Angakwe Mbela. Akela Abula le Shakwe, our cola, Cassin, Lakunga, Bangakuma, Kona, and Zumbo, a move. Near Anosula, who were born and rich guns in La Cote, Nolo and Comba, in Fikilisin, Sintus and Shamas and Wolf. Anosula, who were born. I stand up for Nina, my man, which I was still from the Staphonia, will swear on a poor, who may call Caphonia, will eat Tacaphonia in Nana, you can go over to the top. I should call on a shell. I'm, not, I'm saying uh, uh, that's not true. Um, I did not see Sergeant Machikiri on that day. 
I never saw his face. In fact, it was my first time to see him when he was testifying here in court. Um, my Lord, he never phoned me. There was never a call that was made from uh, the late Maya Mashaba's phone to me. Even if um, cell phone records were to be checked, you'd never, you'd never find uh, 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 records of um, cell phones uh, cell phone calls rather being made to my phone at the, around about the time when it is alleged that it happened around 10 o'clock there was no such a call from um, the deceased phone to mine might i ask you why is it or how is it that when in this case when the deceased was discovered you were always somewhere close in the case of witness Madala Omu, you knew to go search for his body at Urifansontain police station. Now, how is that? And um, go further, in respect of Audrey Sumisa and Lobo, you were there when her body was discovered. You were last seen with her. In the case of Mr. Yangwana M. Mabasa, you knew exactly to which police station to go and search for the body. Well, it comes from time. I'm going to go to the second one. 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 I'm going to go to the our Kusuan Rukona, Loko Aloba Yenama in Masha, Loko Lia Homo, Aloba, Uskotil Kuya, um, will Alish our Olifons Fontaine, Kuyang Lava Corner, a Yinguan Morris, a Mabasa Nayena, our Kona, Wala Ustibilku, Utafamba, we are Olifons Fontaine, young Lava Corner. Say, she would so equal. Nikola kaya nukul meka urksuan, ukul meka kaus tiba ku, ufaku ia kui, doko ningkwa wan laba wan baloba, ukata na udriso misan lov, aur kuala ubeko kuala ksua, lok seso ena loba us tiba ku, uyang lave la kui. Ushang lele ya kamae, ufunile nokhaba pana shobuk. Hmm. Mie devi chonu kwa kani ziri ku idobi. Yeah, aye mko la, my lord, um, I'll respond first to the allegation about. Mayen Mashaba, I was informed by Bafana Shomuga's mother about the death of the deceased there, Mashaba. So I went to David Ton after I was made aware of his passing on. Um, now, Regarding Odriso Misandlov, who is my sister, my lord, I was with her uh, the day before. She asked, me, uh, she asked for money from me. I had gone back to give her the money. And uh, that when I saw some unusual, uh, unusual stuff or usual things at her place. Yeah, Maurice Mavas. Answer my name. Mm. So now, um, regarding this, uh, Yingwan Morris Mabasa, my lord, this, uh, a person I was. Uh, residing with, I lived with him, so I wouldn't wake up in the morning and not worry that he did not come back home. Every day he would wake up in the morning, prepare himself and go to work and come back. So I wouldn't ignore it if um, he didn't come home. The reason why uh, I went to the Olifant Fontaine police station um, regarding him, my lord, is because that's the police station that is used for the Clayville area. Yeah, 
Now, um, regarding this witness, Madala Homu, I did not even know that he, he passed on. I was notified by. Come, tell me, say, man. I did not know that um, he has disappeared, he's missing this uh, witness, Madala Homu. Um, I only learned of it, became aware of it when Godfrey found me. And um, I started looking for him uh, at the police station where I was working after hearing that uh, he's missing. Until Godfrey and I uh, had an agreement that uh, we'll come together and go about uh, searching for him. And that's what eventually led us to only fans for day. But I find it strange, man, that you knew exactly where to search for the missing individuals. So, and all of them were found to be have died. Um, okay, let's see. Swing summer sack, let's swing Chavisak, whose name Eku, where Austi Baku, Bandaban, Bafanekumia Balabaqui, a Inquabu, Bacumecabado Ville, Amaco. So I know what I figured in Languta, which was born, which ignorant hair. Chapel Morris, Aunt Samana, I got up when it comes to uh, my sister, um, Odriso Musa Somisandu, that's my sister. I went there to assist her, to help her with money. She wanted me to give her some money. And I wouldn't get there and see strange things, unusual things, and ignore that. She's my sister. And when it comes to Yingwani Morris, I was staying with him. I wouldn't ignore the fact that he didn't come back home after going to work. I wouldn't do that. As to this witness, Madala Homo, I could not ignore that as well when Godfrey called me to say that he's missing. And, and my Lord, you must remember that um, I'm a police officer. I was working as a police officer. I wouldn't just uh, fold my arms and do nothing when um, something like that comes to my attention. I would help. I would act like a police officer. I would go out and assist in order to find these people. You would go out and act like a police officer, like take cups from a scene, a crime scene. The body was discovered and dumped it into a container full of water. Hey, Oreo, I'll... I would act... Wouldn't there to be a question of argument? Well, I might be. Between the police officer and the police Yes. Should I move on? Yes. As please on the court. So let's move on to count 12. Brilliant Mashehu. Now, get the court. Brilliant Mashehu, 22nd January 2018. Why don't you go to Bush Park Ridge? Mashehu. Brilliant Mashehu. Ian Deshunga Kwenla Kuya at Bush Park Ridge, 22 January 2018. Um, on that day, the 22nd of January 2018, I had gone to Bush Park Ridge to visit Old Mutual. In fact, um, I, had to, I had a meeting with an agent from Old Mutual. There's something that I was going to fix, uh, sort out with this uh, agent from Old Mutual. What is that, ma'am, that you're going to sort out? Yes, I'm going to I had a loan from Old Mutual, so um, I went there to sort out issues um, in respect of that loan. Because I'm going to get details, so I'm going to get details, and I'm going to get 
Um, I had at that stage, my lord changed my changed the banks, and um, I had to provide the old mutual agent with um, my new banking details. So I needed to submit my bank statement to this agent in order for them to be able to continue and debit my account um, with the payment of the loan. I share that your version, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I am sure. Yes, you are sure. I am sure. You asked me about what I was going to do in Bushback Ridge on the 22nd. I'm answered. That's the answer I'm giving you. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure of what I'm talking about. Thank you for being sure. May I ask you to have a look at your bilateral diet exhibit ZZZ. Paragraph 6. I'm going to go to Ulangutala. Bail affidavit, Yahweh, and I exhibit ZZZ, I got paragraph 6. Line 6. Ulanguta, line 6. I had each act to push back reach, for I wanted to consult my younger on a personal issue. That this, is page, sorry, that is page. Uh, page 5, paragraph 6, my lord, line 6. Paragraph 5? Paragraph 6. Yes. Line 6. Yes. I have hitched tight to push back reach for I wanted to consult my Nyanga on a personal issue. The Nyanga instructed me to collect soil from the grave of my later daughter and bring it back to him, hence I came back to Gauteng with Brilliant. Do you see that, man? Um. Lanuan was one of the last triple Z, exhibit triple Z, paragraph six. But I want to line six. Laya, a Munganan Shamselo, a Le Angasayam Chuchis, La Mimiron Fumuku, a Osuke Ufamba, a Combatili Fig, Zoya Figa Bushback Ridge, a Go Aulabakia, Wonanga, Wena, Uibonella, Sumayan Sawe, Suti by Wena, Nayona, Nana, Nanga Wena. Ute nya ngangalia yi ayi kulir sele shaku ute kam saba eka asirendra ngana uwe wano yan lo anga loba unguti sela lesunga enda ku ubuya na brident alenju nikumba akhauti washwa? Nashwa I said that, yeah Yeah, nika ati dabi aku nga wila mwuru yi super at 22 um, my Lord, I see, I see what uh, counsel for the state has read on that paragraph. But what what um, um, this is referring to is not referring. It's not referring to the twenty second of January twenty eighteen. On the paragraph, it's only written. January 2018. I'm specifically answering counsel by telling her as to what is it that I was going to do on the 22nd of January 2018. Specifically on the 22nd of January. On the Ma'am, that entire paragraph deals with you going with uh, pitching brand in Bushpark Ridge, bringing him to Gauteng, and going back the very next day. That entire paragraph. Paragraph here, I inquire, Mandro. If I have like, who we are going to push back reach, we are taking a brilliant, who we are now in a then a counting. So tell out tell a push back reach is simply related. I need a push back reach. I am a bird. Hmm. No, I am a naive push back reach. Zaga lo kunta ba nung funo nung push back reach. Allo suka la push kong na shabu niya push back reach niya tekaie. No. My Lord, my, it was not um, uh, my intention to go and fetch him. I didn't go there with that intention, with the aim of collecting or taking Brilliant from Bushpark Ridge. I met him in Bushpark Ridge. And that was after I, I phoned him. It was not my plan from the outset to go and collect or take Brilliant from Bushpark Ridge. So why 
And and um, further to that, my lord, brilliant is an other. If I needed him to come over to Johannesburg, I would need to go over to Bushbuck Ridge to fetch him. I would send him money to travel on his own and come over to Houting. I will start an answer to the question, ma'am. Say, so, 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 my lord, I had um, counsel for the state saying or putting it to me that I had gone to Bushbuck Ridge to uh, take or fetch uh, Brilliant Mashiro. I didn't. I went there for my own business, for my own things. Uh, it just happened, my lord, that Brilliant and I met in Bushbuck Ridge. I didn't go there with the intention to fetch him from Bushbuck Ridge. The main issue is, ma'am, according to you, you went to Bushbuck Ridge to sort out a loan that you had with Old Mutual. And according to your bail statement explaining how brilliant and you were together with the last of, the last of his day, it's a total different explanation. Do you understand that? Makai kunku mbala amandlovu, eku uwena, uye Bushbuck Ridge, inkuya nklamsele ya uwena. Our Yakulums in Kamaka when I alone early old mutual. Campbellan one. It was after David Away a baby, some sailor and Lela Lee when our brilliant eco, a Cassicura Raque Telera, Anya M. Save. Unless she could come a cancul, she a culcumba, they would swap you. Men Mm. My Lord, I was asked about the 22nd of January 2018 as to what is it that I was going to do in Bushbuck Ridge on that day. So I was, I answered that, that I had to sort out my loan issue with Old Mutual. And as to what else I did, uh, some other things that I did, it, it's not something that I kept um, memory of, but I'm sure of the one thing that on the 22nd, I went over to Bushbuck Ridge to sort out the loan issue. With <laughs> mm. And And at the time when uh, this affidavit was compiled, I was not told or asked to go into details and say everything that I went over to Bush Park Ridge to do. That is why when I was responding to what I was being asked, I gave them the first thing that came to my mind about what happened and what I did in Bush Park Ridge. Done explaining, ma'am? Yeah, as far as the, your question is concerned, yes, I'm done. There is another question that's not uh, unnecessarily exchanged. Um, <coughs> <coughs> May I even ask you, according to your bail statement, you dropped uh, Brilliant Mashiku at Washington. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree Brilliant Mashiro, we figure on Sia Adwar Slope. What for me? I'm not the one who dropped him off. It's, he got off from the vehicle that um, we were traveling in, in Dwar Slope. Not that I dropped him off there. Okay. So you left Brilliant Mashiro at Washington. See, let's go. When I see him. Brilliant machine. Yes, at uh, in engine garage, engine filling station. Uh, yes, that's so much. You see, because if we have a look at exhibit B, the deceased 
was found at Washula, where you left him. Yeah, the whole exhibit P, Mandov. Ila angumela kumeka kona mufi brilliant machine. La we unga usia ko. Usia garage. When we get into the street, and we turn into a bus station, Abu ye ito lo we bus ka kerege ni tuna bsi. We go and dance to the bus station and kerege ni abu. We go and get into the street. My lord, uh, I left. Uh, brilliant Mashiho, the deceased, at that um, garage or petrol filling station. As to what happened after that, uh, I don't know, my lord. And I warned him. I told him that it's late at night, and he told me that uh, the place, that is the garage, is more closer to uh, his church, and that he is used to even going to church uh, late at night, even 2 a.m. He walks to church. And as one, I will look at that door slope. We are going to run. Even between five minutes, I pull. I mean, I put it. I pull up. I got to get that from. And um, uh, in addition to that, my lord, uh, he, he said that uh, walking from uh, that door slope, that specific place, to the, a village called Relani, it, it's about a twenty-five minute walk. He said. He is not uh, 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 afraid. He's not scared. He would he would walk uh, to Relani village from there. And isn't it so that you have also policies taken out of brilliant Mashehu funeral policies? Yes, on aku aur na the police takulasha the takulasha let out zar se brilliant Mashehu. Yes, I did. How many policies? I'm not sure of the exact number. It could be three or two, my lord. Two to three. I don't, I'm not certain of the exact number. You had an old mutual policy which covered Brilliant Mashiku as your child. Our name policy is old mutual, man, love. They outsource the Brilliant Mashiku. Remember that? Why you I I won't dispute it. Um, but it's unfortunate now that we are discussing this. We are talking about this here in court. But at the time when I was taking these policies, when one gives an explanation as to the relationship between myself, in particular to this, my lord, between myself and Brilliant Mashiro, when I would explain to the agent that, look, this is my sister's child, and the agent would want to know what's the relationship between you and him. How does he address you? Um, would say to the agents that he calls me, uh, he, he addresses me as his mother. And then they would go on to say, no, would register him, would cover him as your child. So it's unfortunate now that we are discussing this or talking about this here in court. But at the time of the taking of the policies, it was a different uh, 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 approach altogether, my lord. Can you then explain the evidence of Mr. Charlotte Maluleke, who testified that the individual seen in the photos with the same clothing was seen at her house on the 23rd of January 2018? Say, you have to Charlotte Maluleke. Charlotte Maluleke, you have to go to exhibit P. Uvi a chamse la ku muniyali abo narkala kula kashfanso lisha ari amutinu aye na hiti twenty three that January twenty eighteen. Lo po nzuka bumbani kashalat bali. Ito sikolo po ati bali ishu. 
At the Palais, you know, the Arabs Chalan, Mm. Um, Lord, um, if, if my memory serves me well, I mean now regarding the evidence of Charlotte Malulege, I think Charlotte Malulege, when she testified there, she said that um, she, she had a head cloth, a, a duke, so to speak, and um, this brilliant Mashiho was covering himself with a, a, a small blanket. Um, my Lord, regarding the pictures, I, I remember from looking at some of the pictures, although I couldn't look at all the pictures when we were in Pambridge testifying, there was one picture, can I just finish the interpretation? When I, when I, I looked at one of the pictures, I saw how he was dressed on exhibit P, and that's not how he was dressed on that day when he was at uh, Charlotte Malulega's place on the 23rd of January 2018. you to look at the you to and I said to you, the reason why I'm inviting you is for you to be able to give instructions to your uh, council as regards the identity, and you refuse. To the best of you know, that's where I'm standing, everything being equal, you never meet the future. Um, Mando, Am I correct in this thing? So, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Mandlovu utasitundzuka ku hi siku leri ya eh loko hi twa vumboni bya Charlotte Maruleke Exhibit P yi umesi wini isifaniso sa brilliant mashiho u arili ku swilanguta ba komberili ku languta swifaniso seso ku swita ku funa ku uta kota ku hlamisela miimeri wa wena ku aku yini loko aku yimelela hi swona ku uta kota ku vula ku hi yena munhu luya eh u kota u ala ku wena ku swilanguta swifaniso leswi ya u arili Kusuka la basi banga imako na kumbela banga tama kona judge bar basi tunzuka kache kuku arili au shula bangi kulangu sponsor leswa na shingo shako au shbona au shlanga au kurele. Tunzuka kache. Then ala bona shule shinga tangu sabwa judge baku mfalele langu te ustani phone kai ni kalo ku kesi kari ya mashwe ni lo ku advocate so atama eu da sana advocate so shi sei babalo akuri sa atere na kwa tamrich ba ku langu taka les sika se ashtamis mungu teka iwan yesu bana ku shumbali les ashtamis yesu kuleria na les ashtamis lo ku yaka shirat ay shumbali shiu tani lo shirat aburi lo ku suera lo kaya kaya ati kumba aru katwa shirami atiaki mara suera abasi um, my Lord, I remember well, yes, I don't deny that uh, I refuse to take a look um, at the, the more grim uh, pictures. I did not, but then the court insisted that I should look at those pictures. I remember they were not even brought to me by Advocate Soko, but a police officer who was uh, a court orderly in Palm Ridge Court that day. I, I looked at um the picture once uh, i just took a, a glance at the picture and could see that in those pictures he was not wearing the same clothes which uh, he was wearing when we visited um charlotte Madulega on that day and um you would remember my lord that in her testimony this charlotte said that um he looked uh, 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 quite dirty and um, he looked uh, like he was not well he was covering himself with a small blanket but then if you look at these pictures that is exhibit p you'd see that he's, he was more clean on those pictures and he was not wearing the same clothes as he was wearing on that day when he was at charlotte's place for the sake of record the court has made certain observations 
and it alluded to some of them. What I want to reiterate is that I invited specifically the witness to identify the clothing, and she refused. I don't intend to get involved with some change. It's not the function of the court. But I was highlighting this because it was an issue of identity. Barke Mandu. Oh, the court is not going to get involved with the exchange with you. I've made my uh, comment in, the, in context of the victim being able to be identified. The evidence of uh, Ms. Ma the lake is on uh, record. I will deal with it. Eh, uh, let us proceed. So I got mid can I be also ask you, Ms. Blobo, uh, when was Mr. Brilliant Mashiku Mark? Eh, uh, Nick Mandu. Brilliant Mashiku, you know, Kumori in Kunz. Okay, Vinguri. Understand. I don't know. Elisum may Angan Zilla so long and down some why Umbala so scoring a male letter shall not. I don't know, um, but that's what he told me when I asked him. On that day when we were at uh, Charlotte Mandulek's uh, place, um, I asked him, why are you dressed like that? And in his explanation, he told me that he also had um, a, a, a school bag, and uh, he was marked and it was taken by uh, thugs. Were you not together with Brilliant Mashiku from Bushpak Ridge? Kasi Aungar Nayena na Brilliant Mashiku Kusukale Ridge? No, I would like to know the real. No, we saw the Brilliant Anga Yamina Yana Ye Roka Shalot. I sukurai one or a different two. Nama Balel Amanga fan, the joint the Nama Balel Ama fan. My lord, I, I even told this, uh, mentioned this to Advocate Soko that um, the day on which I went to Charlotte Maluleka's place and the day on which I went to Bush Park Ridge are not this, it's not the same day. Even the clothes which he was wearing were different. He was not wearing the same clothes. So my question to you reminds, when was brilliant Mashenghu Mark? See, she would say, I'll say Shamula, Yena Ukomwerin in Kunze, a brilliant machine. Mm. But, uh, the time when he told me that um, he was mad, it was on the day on which he was wearing a fawnish brown uh, t shirt. And which time would that be? I could have but the date. So, I um, I don't remember the date, uh, my lord. I even told Advocate Soko that uh, it was somewhere um, at the beginning of um, the reopening of schools, somewhere on the 13th, 14th, or 15th, but not around the 22nd. It was not the 22nd. Uh, 
man, can, can you tell the court why is it that also uh, Beauty Ndlovu, the girlfriend of the deceased, brilliant Mashefu, also knew that. Confusing that one. Not sure. Remembrance. Can you tell the court why is it that remembrance recalled that you 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 and he, uh, Brilliant Mashiko is not allowed to speak in, your, in her company with you. Yeah, um, I have a lot of people who are in the room. I remember and I try. I have a lot of people who are in the room. I have a lot of people who are in the room. I have a lot of Um, my Lord, answering that question, um, it's, I'll just say that um, I've never told Brilliant uh, to move away from people whenever he answers my call or my phone, a uh, phone coming from me. I never told him that uh, uh, he must not be amongst people um, or near anyone when he takes a call from me. It was even my first time, my Lord, to hear it uh, here in court, to hear that in court when uh, it was testified to. May I ask you, why did you take Brilliant from Bushpark Ridge um, on the 22nd of January 2018? Uh, when would this occur? The 22nd of January 2018. Uh, usuke le ina na utekele ina marutia mnyani brilliant mashio. Usuka na ina de a pushback ridge. Amda usuka na ina. Ute yo ya epoti ya asabita tisiti. I did not take him uh, from pushback ridge. He said that he's going to the airport to submit. Uh, see this. Okay, and anything further? What did you do else that day? Uh, 22nd. Uh, 22nd, January 2018. I did nothing else. Maybe I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing the mark here. If you could explain to me what is it that you need to know. So Maybe I'm, I'm, not under, I'm not understanding the question. Hmm. So on the 22nd of January 2018, you went to Bush Park Ridge. You came back from Bush Park Ridge in the company of Brilliant Mashe. It is 22 January 2018, Yes, I am. say the one purpose was for the city to run in at the airport. Sorry. The question is, is it true? Is it that I hear you? They say you can then repeat. Is that true? 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 Yes, yes, that's true, man. It's true. And back in Gauteng, what happened? What did, what did you and Brilliant do? I said, I'm going to go to Gauteng. I'm going to Brilliant. No, I'm going to go to Gauteng. I parted ways with uh, him in Ivory Park. It's a it, at the score. They, uh, it was at a... At a, a taxi rank, my lord, where Brilliant and I parted ways, and uh, he said he was going to see his cousins in uh, Tembisa.
So that entire day, the 22nd of January 2018, you only traveled back with him. What else happened? Say, he simply the 22nd January 2018. Siku inkwaru amu wakufambe inuwe na yena Mizi mtafikala Iyi nshungwa yande shunga umelela Kumbile shunga enda shungwe Wena na brilliant Apo re nshukani yoko ishuka So no kifikala sa apo re nito Kuma sika kasa na kwa na anu anikari Apo ya kati kazi nstaye So me dure na nsa mbukwa Ma no there's nothing else That I did with brilliant mashiho Other than traveling when we left Bushpark Ridge, it was at noon. But when we arrived here in Gauteng, uh, John is back, it was early in the evening, around 7 o'clock. And um, we parted ways when he said that he's going to see uh, his cousins. There's nothing else that I did with him. Did Brilliant Mashe Kurazana with you that evening? Sleep over? Okay, let's go. No. Where did you sleep? What 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 did you sleep? And the mother of these cousins are, are siblings. But I just don't know how else to explain that, my lord. Can I ask you then, when did you meet him again after that? See, when we were in the house, 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 we Mm. The, the, the following day, I don't remember, my lord, whether it was a call back that he sent to me or it was an actual call that he made to me. Uh, but I spoke to him. He told me that uh, he's not safe wherever he was. In fact, uh, where he was, rather. Uh, he said he was at a sanguine in Tembisa and he's not feeling safe where he was. And then? Evie? So I then said to him, tell me where, where you are. Are you able to see a chicken licking outlet? He said, yes, I'm able to see one. I then advised him to go and wait for me at that chicken licking out, outlet and told him that I would be on my way uh, to him. What happened then? Uh, what happened then? Mm. Um, upon uh, finding him there at the chicken licking outlet, my lord, I then asked him what the problem is. He told me that um, wherever he was staying, he was not comfortable, he was not well accommodated. Sometimes the people whom he was staying with would leave him there without food. So I then said to him, you know, I don't want to be involved in, in this family squabbles by uh, talking too much about that. I told him that, uh, I, in fact, it was just to remind him that, look, you never grew uh, at the side of my family. You didn't grow up there where, I, where it's my home. You didn't grow up there. You, you, you grew up at your grandmother's place. So if you needed to come and stay with me here in Johannesburg, you need to make that official by asking your grandmother to give you permission for you to come over and stay with me here. Since we were apart growing together, you know, on either 
side of the family uh, side. What happened to you, ma'am? See, um, I had an appointment with uh, my boyfriend. We were planning to meet in Jamestown and then my boyfriend was was driving a, a Korea vehicles, a Korea a, a vans. I then said to him, let's go together, let's take a taxi to Jamestown, and then you'll take a taxi from Jamestown and go back home, that is travel back home to Bushpark Ridge. I advised him that if he wished to stay with me, to live with me here in Gauteng, he would make this a formal arrangement in that he would um, notify his grandmother who would give him permission to come over and stay with me. Upon our arrival in uh, Jamestown, my lord, we found that uh, there were no longer taxis. Taxis were no longer available for him to be able to travel to Bushback Ridge. Then we, we took a taxi to Benoni. Uh, the reason for that my lord, was to go and check if there were taxis in Benoni uh, um, which he could use to travel to Bushpark Ridge. And at that stage, my lord, I had phoned uh, to check on my boyfriend who told me that uh, he was still busy with his deliveries. So uh, Brilliant and I then proceeded to uh, Benoni. Uh, we also found that there were no uh, taxis uh, in um, Benoni. Then we went to the hiking spot, an area where people um, ask for rides, and then that's when we hiked um, and traveled to Bushpark Ridge, my lord. Is that on the 23rd of uh, January 2018? January 2018. Yes, that was on the 23rd of January 2018 and at noon. And the reason why uh, I had to take uh, a, a hike to Bushpark Ridge together with him it's because um, I couldn't travel with my boyfriend to Bushpark Ridge as he was traveling to Bushpark Ridge because he's not allowed to have passengers, any other people in the Korea van because uh, there would be a problem if they were to uh, be involved in an accident like that. So the plan was that um, we were going to, that is myself and my boyfriend, we we're going to meet in, in Bushpark Ridge and sleep over there. Maya, ask you what your boyfriend's name? Peter Anima. Um, uh, you see, this boyfriend is not the boyfriend in question, the one that uh, we're talking about here, the one that I was staying with. This was my uh, uh, side boyfriend. So to speak. A I, yes. So so his name was Bennett Ngomani. He was from Arthur City. Arthur City. Arthur City. Arthur City. I as far as I knew then back then uh, was that he came from Arthur City. Arthur. I said Arthur City, my lord. 
Also and his, his name is Bennett, Bennett Ngoman, but I didn't know uh, his actual home, where he came from. His names, uh, name up, uh, names are Bennett Ngoman. But she also said it was not the other boyfriend. In other words, she was saying that it was not Maurice. But Maurice was dead by that time. Oh, I'm lovely, Maurice. Mm. Oh, out Tamana. No, I'm not talking about Maurice, my lord. Sorry. There's a boyfriend that I was living with, a live in boyfriend that I had at that time. But I also had this second boyfriend. This is the boyfriend that I'm referring to, um, who is Bennett Ngomani from mm -hmm. Arthur City. I was living with someone, but I had a boyfriend outside of that relationship. I presume Bennett Ngomani is going to testify and corroborate your verdict. Uh, I don't think it's a matter of not know I don't know where he stays. I don't even have his uh, phone number. I don't have it. It was not a serious relationship. That's why I even mentioned that I don't even know where he, he hails from, where he comes from, his home, where he originates from. I don't know. Mm. And, and he never even got to see a uh, brilliant because um, he was using his uh, a, a, a work vehicle, motor vehicle, so we never got into that car. Uh, with brilliant. Mm. So, uh, as I said, we, we used uh, uh, this mode of transport, hiking up until the engine garage. That's where brilliant and I parted ways. But um, my this boyfriend of this boyfriend and Ma and me met after I parted ways with the uh, brilliant. Now, I ask you, what you return to? Bushpark Ridge on the 23rd of January 2018. See, when would this happen, Andrew? In the Shashi Bangalore, Shaku Bushpark Ridge, the 23rd of January 2018. In my explanation to the court, I said. Mm, I said that uh, I traveled because I had an appointment with my boyfriend and this boyfriend whose work was to uh, go around making deliveries so he would deliver at various places um, all over the place and it would at times take him to Bushpark Ridge to deliver there. He would go as far as Bushpark Ridge to make deliveries so that's what i said in my answer that was my reason for going to bushback ridge that day so do i understand it correctly you were meeting him at bushback ridge and then say no kutusa kahle ko ami ya boyfriend ya wele say anza ka sona ami ta endlai aku ya omela ai ata ya hlangana le hlangana le ko ibe ya ntlomela um, we were going to meet wherever uh, and do whatever, my lord. Uh, I think he phoned me at night around 11 o'clock and asked me uh, to my whereabouts. I told him that uh, I was at the Shell Garage uh, in Bushpark Ridge, not in Dwarfslope because at that stage I had already parted ways with um, Brilliant Mashiro and that's where he came to pick me up from this shell garage. Okay. So you undertook a trip of five hours plus to do what in Bushpark Ridge? Um, it is so a family friend so they take a cool car in long alley and like at the hour at five. We are in line in a Bushpark Ridge. The plan? Mm. 
Um, my lord, the plan was to go and spend the night um, in Bushback Ridge. That is myself and my boyfriend. And if my memory memory serves me well, I think it was also um, one of my last was last days working days, one of my last working day, and in that I was gonna have to report for duty the following day. So, um, as we planned to sleep there and travel back to Johannesburg the following day, he received a call. We did not manage to do that. He received a call from his employers. He was told that one of the vehicles which uh, is used for deliveries was involved in an accident and that um, he had to immediately travel back to uh, Johannesburg to his employer so that he would take over um, the duty to uh, deliver what should have been delivered by the vehicle involved in the accident. So in that way, we were not able to spend the night together in pushback, which we had to come back to Johannesburg. So basically, you just travel from Johannesburg to Bushback Ridge five hours, going to take another trip back to Johannesburg, another five hours. So, it is so, uh, uh, so, 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 my lord, uh, there was nothing. No, excuse me. My lord, uh, there was nothing more serious other than spending time with my boyfriend that I was going to do in Bushpark Ridge. So we had thought that um, the plan would be to go and spend the night together in Bushpark Ridge because we knew that here in Johannesburg. I had someone that I was involved with, I was in a relationship with. So the idea would be to go and spend time with this other boyfriend away in Bushpark Ridge. And what about your ailing mother? Did you not think of visiting her? You were there for two days. Our pushback ridge, Kashaka, and go shy lamasikambir, go our pushback ridge, Masikambir. Say out, shake a tongue, Kumekutunduka, and Zakaya, the one of a macho awena. My Lord, um, we, we just make a, a general reference to the place Bushpark Ridge. But wherever I was, I was not near my home at that time. And secondly, the reason why I went there is because of this agreement with my boyfriend. I was with my boyfriend. I, was, I had not planned to go and visit my mother. If I have to, if I go home to visit, I need to prepare. I need to have money or take gifts that uh, I would uh, give to my mother. So it, it was not in my plan uh, uh, to visit my mother in that um, uh, instance, my lord. So can you tell the court, so how did you get back in your boyfriend's delivery vehicle? See, and when you talk about it, I think you can come from my mother, your boyfriend, your wife, your wife. Um, he said that um, if it's one passenger, it lessens um, the risk. It's unlike when he's taking two passengers in that um, delivery vehicle. So he was willing to uh, to take that risk if it's just one passenger. Which company is so reckless in the driver's behavior? 
that one individual is allowed in an official driving their vehicle. So you want to find out yes. which company was he well, allowed that was he waiting for yes, his ma boyfriend to yes. Mm, se ba re eh bitra khampale a tirela yo ri ri yin ri ri ni bitra ko eh na kona tshotsela tiba leswaku bo ba ba khampani ya njang le nga pfumelela ku ku eh ti driver ta bo kumbe driver ya bo yi khandzisa vanhu na hambe ari wo ana tsinzu ki khampani ya ko ri a mo ba re se se le ku ri ya khale mm so shimonya ni ku ye why a tike ri skele a mi shi shoko Mm. My Lord, um, I don't remember the name of the company, and um, that's because it, it, it wasn't such an, a, a, an old relationship, so to speak. It wasn't a relationship which was um, much older, and it wasn't a serious relationship. As to why he chose to take that risk, I don't know, my Lord, and I don't know what is it that he would have um, uh, said to his employers if something happened along the way. I don't know how he would take responsibility for that. Ms. Ngovri, let's cut to the chase. Which company was Bennett Ngomani working for? Aterela Company, Bennett Ngomani. I forgot the name. Um, I don't remember, my lord. I forgot, but it, it had an emblem. It was written on the vehicle. I think it's globe something, but I can't um, uh, remember that, my lord. And it was my first time on that day to be with him uh, in his uh, company vehicle. Can I then ask you, ma'am, did you have a one stage in 2018 take leave without pay? Kuna Karlo, you take leave without pay 2018 until when? No, I don't remember taking leave uh, without pay. I don't remember taking leave without pay unless if there was some stage or instance when I ran out of um, official sick days uh, leave uh, for sick uh, days I don't know maybe if it was that time then they would have to deduct money from my salary but I don't remember applying for sick uh, I mean um, leave with that pay. If the site presents evidence to the effect that you took sick leave from the 23rd of or leave without pay from the 23rd of January 2018 up until the 2nd of March 2018. Do you recall that? Uh, the 25th of January uh, 2018 Kia fika iti 2 da March 2018 Uteke masiku ya leave lawa unga zangi unga hakele nga banga kwa hakele nga hakele nga kawa Leave without pay Hi Anushte, Anushu kimteke leave without pay? I don't know about that, I don't remember Kwa anbuga sik, kuru ana nama sik, sifu ala teka mani Mara Anushu kimteke leave without pay? Malot, unless if I applied for for leave for sick leave, only to find that I had run out of um, my sick days for leave. They would then, instead, in that case, uh, deduct the money from my salary. So the civil progress, did you or didn't you take unpaid leave? Say, could you talk about the camera in Mandru? Could you take a leave you can get a little now? No. No, I did not. My lord, the site will uh, request for provisionally allowing the site. The site will present evidence. This was only brought to my attention after I closed my, the site's case. If I might just uh, ask this provisionally and I'll present the evidence of the commanding officer of the site's defense case. Mm -hmm. 
fairness to the case, let me hear what As a example, what is your attitude to the request that they want to lay the evidence? And would you like to cross over to your target and find out then what the, the attitude is? Although the issue is strictly speaking legal, but you can consult with them. Uh, my lord, the witness has something to say. She has a hand up. She needs to say something. Yeah, but I'm going to get to the car. I'm going to get to the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Yep. Um, as I was being questioned about me taking uh, or whether I took unpaid leave uh, in 2018, my Lord, Sorry. something just came to my mind um, that I remember that I had run out of both my annual uh, leave days as well as my sick leave days and I needed to attend Brilliant's funeral so I had to take time off work so that's when uh, 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 money had to be deducted from my salary um, because of that man I, I remember so that's why I wanted to respond to this before uh, advocate Soko could approach me because I, I didn't want it to look like it's an afterthought no I wanted to answer it even before he came over to me. At this stage, the state has not proceeded with that question. And, uh, please proceed. So if we can then move to exhibit www. I think you have that in front of you, ma'am. Uh, Exhibit W, W, W. Yes, I do say that. Okay. Now, you say you and Vincent Kunene was apparently very close friends, am I correct? Uh, okay, when I know Vincent Kunene, I'm very, I'm told of any Limir Bangana, Sunen, no Vincent Kunene. Mm. Not, not like that. Uh, I didn't say that uh, Vincent Kunene was my close friend. I said the person who was my close friend was his sister. But um, me being closer to his sister um, made me even much, uh, it made me also to be closer to her him but he was not a friend we were not tight friends please have a look at page seven of um the exhibit www long like page seven mando like exhibit w w w 
Do you see that man? Yes, I see that. Do you see all the communication on page 7, which is only set out for the period 7 February 2018 up until 12 February 2018? Do you see that? I'm still... Uh, Perusing. I'm still looking at uh, the exhibit number. Yeah, yes. Yes, I see that. Yes, it's communication from the 7th of February 2018. And what did you and Mr. Vincent Njabulo Kunene discuss during four days, a period of four days? Five days? I'm over the line. Wenana, wenana Vincent Njabulo Kunene, Eka Masikula wa Dukunshayela, Masikyo Ringana Faif. Yes, Maro? Can you make it clearer to the witness what you mean? Okay, this is a data yes. extracted from... Uh, I can make it clear, Maro. Yes. And make it clear to her as to who were calling who. So, page 7, 8, 9, and up until 10. Up until the date of your arrest, the 7th of March 2018. You see that, man? Um, was one of the page seven, eight, nine, nine, Kufikalaka page ten. La Kuna communication, Kumbe Kuvala Bulash Karkawena, Vincent in Jabulo Kunene, Kufikala, I simply run a Kumo I run at the seventh of March, twenty eighteen. Was one? You want to be page and go to I see, I've checked the, the pages as I was referred to, but I uh, am not checking out the phone numbers. But so I'm trying to look at uh, the telephone numbers. Then but I, I saw the, 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 the pages. Okay, page 7, column 1. 278205926482648. That is your number. Right or wrong? Um, Laya, Shenge Shosungula, Koromyo Sungula, Laya. No, that is Mr. Pune, Vincent Punene's number. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? Number Alia, a telegraph with two eight. Yeah, Vincent Punene. What's one of them? I see that. Punen. But that phone number where the last four digits are 2648. Yes. That's my number. That's my phone number. It's not Vincent Punene's number. I think okay. they made a mistake there. So I made a mistake. So that is all. Your number appearing there in the first column. Uh, yes, that's the right. my phone number. The second uh, column, ma'am, is MOC. You will see MOC NPC. And if you look then at page 37 of that exhibit, www. You see that? Eh, uh, page 37. Just one little column, I'm la ku the MOC, not the MTC. I'm going to look page 37. Go naka exhibit. Uh, you see that? W, no, w. No, that I'm still trying to find page 37. Madam. I see 3 of 38. I, of 38. Um, I don't know where 37 is. Yes. What page are you Before you reach. page 7 of 38. No, page 37. Before you reach this map, La unga speaker la ile makumi ya unga speaker la kat kunga na map kona. Uta ibona page 37. Uta ibona kwa la kat. I found I found page 37 of 38. Now. 
the second column. Most often what is appearing there is MOC and that sound for outgoing call. So that means your number might then call to Mr. Brilliant, no, Mr. Jabulo Vincent Kunene. Look, I'm going to page 37 of 38. That's one of the MOC. This comes to Lakuku. The local phone is the Siwa phone line one yard. Say, last combat is a phone. You are a phone. You see that, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, between you, yourself, and Mr. Njabulo Vincent Kunene. But it's similar to the seven. I could not the call that ten. I should go in and Vincent Njabulo Kunene. Local language. But it comes to the MOC. Local language. Local language. I'm going to go to the local language. So let's mm. Okay, all right. Um, my Lord, when when I when I look at what uh, MOC stands for, what it means there, it, it tells me that it means it was me making a call or calls to. And if I check here the number of instances when I called him, I think it's about three times according to this. And you know, over and above that, I need to make this explanation that at times when I needed to contact a KBC, that is Vincent's sister, if I couldn't get hold of her on her phone, I would then call. Vincent Njabulok Bunene and ask him as to where his sister is. So for 10 calls made on the 7th, so the 7th of February 2018, my lord. Oh, yes. There's five outgoing calls. And five incoming calls, my lord. Got the call to the ten, man, love. I'm phone a lana when I'm here, Vincent Njabulo. Kunene. Kuna five little thing of Macaway, Tia Cayena. Now five little thing of Suka Cayena. Thing and a cowen. I see that. I see the calls. And then, if we move further, the very next time, ma'am. Hmm. Phone calls between your number and the hitman that you hired, Mr. Njabulo Vincent Kunene, on the 8th of February 2018. It's the 8th of February 2018. I'm going to call to Ringana Twelov, Ashkar Kawena, Nankabilia. Ungai Shaba Vincent Njabulo Gunen. It's the 8th of February 2018. Two calls in the one. I do see the calls. Uh, I have no problems with the calls between me and Vincent Njabulo Gunen, but I've never. I've never hired him as a hitman. In terms of the witness, at this stage, is the matter. Hmm. So, but it also continues, continues, ma'am. We can go on. For the 10th of February, there were calls between you and Njabulo Vincent Kunene. The 11th of February, the 12th of February, there were numerous calls between yourself. And Mr. Vincent Njabulo Kunene. Eh, tiko na tiko calls. Eh, tete lo kuyama shwe na kore. Kusuka kwa la kati eight, tete ten, na tete eleven. Tete le tiko calls le tete ngaba ko eskar kwa wenana 
Njabulo Vincent Kunet. Mm. I don't I don't um, uh, dispute the the number of calls that um, were happened between myself and and Jabulo Vincent Kunene. I'm not disputing the that volume. Um, my Lord, uh, just as I explained earlier in my uh, one of my explanations, that there was an arrangement between myself, Kebisile, and Njabulo Nene for me to take them to push, push back Ridge to introduce them to a traditional healer. They needed to see a traditional healer there. Although I admit at this point in time, no reference is made to Kebisile. We are not talking about Kebisile, but all I'm saying is that. These calls happened as we were talking about that. We were making such arrangements, hence there were so much calls uh, between me and him because we were arranging to go to Bush Park Ridge for me to introduce them to a traditional healer. You see, when Mr. Njabulo Vincent Kunene came to testify, it was never put to him that you used his phone to contact Sebisile. Uh, yeah. Because Okay. Yeah. No, no, my lord. I think this. Mm. My lord, I think this. This just tells me that uh, Council for the State misunderstood me. I never said that. I said that at times when I couldn't get hold of. I would call his sister Kebisile. In fact, the other way around. Yes, that's that's it. Yes, I would call I would call Njabulo to try and find Kebisile, the sister, when I could not get hold of her. And um, I I knew that in at her place it was quite a busy place in that day. She also sold alcohol there. So if I couldn't find Kebisile, I would phone him. That is Vincent Njabulo to try and find his sister. So what council said, it's, it's not true. I did not uh, use uh, Njabulo's phone to try and get hold of Kebisile, no. Maybe she did use his phone to try and phone me. But I, I'm saying that I never used his phone to try and phone uh, Kebisile, no. Yes, yes. I think he doesn't understand the question. Would you please repeat the question again? Listen very carefully. Answer that question as it is put to you. Mm -hmm. When Mrs. Sibisile Kunenika had to testify, why wasn't it put to her? Like, if she, you didn't get Loko Pevisile Arlan one at the Kuniken Kabumboon. Equala Kainanga zero anku when a Pevisil. Lokuman Lovu, Agulava, a Anga Kukum, Apa Fonella, a Ecafonian Jabul. Say Loko Pevisila, I double testify. Men Karabutan, advocates of Anwood Sapuyae, testimony Levanga Ibeka Naya. So me anu shamla ku yai testimony a witness le bla bla kilo anu tsam umutu lo ku ite yai anu tsam shubu tseleshi witnessing anu. So me anu shamla ku yai ku yai shubu tseleshi ai ngasifikala. That's why shushun kota kusham sela iku ku yai self phone record le ba be kola masho kame. My lord, um, each time when in fact after 
Debisile uh, uh, finished her testimony. Advocate Soko would approach me and ask me if I had the evidence and if uh, I had any comments about that. And he would ask me questions as according to the testimony that was laid before court. It wouldn't be anything else. It would be based on what the witness has testified to. So even in this instance, my lord, I'm, I'm replying to this uh, uh, because of the cell phone records which have been put here before me, in front of me. That's how I'm replying to this, but not uh, uh, touching on anything else. May I ask you, how many contacts did you have with Mr. Lakiwe Mkize? Mon with this like a Lakiwe Mkize, yeah, na me phone na ne kangan. Me antu tuki phone na na Lakiwe Mkize. Hmm. Unless me phone jamul, lo kwa phone na me wo, but the phone na like you. Hmm. Me Lakiwe Mkize as tamal phone na 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 ye. Let's just talk about lo kwa na ye. My Lord, I have never. Uh, phoned uh, Lakiwe Mkize. Um, my Lord, un unless if when Lakiwe Mkize was with Njabulog uh, Nene, they would use Lakiwe's phone to contact me. Um, maybe that's how these records came to be, but I never used my phone to contact Lakiwe Mkize. Um, uh, my Lord. Just before we just said, mm. please listen to me again. Do not give us your opinion. We need the facts. Yeah. You, the mm -hmm. question is, how many times did you call? You know, get mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know in contact with like your keys. Uh, in other words, like your keys number is common cause. Is what number? Yes, code number of. Uh, Oh, seven, two, seven, eight, three. That's page ten, my lord. Page ten. The second column, page ten of thirty-eight. Just, just a minute. Page two. Mm. To go for C. Look, you know, look at page six. On the 21. Yes, there is the number six. Yes, and let's use that. Right. They ask you how many times did you contact Lakio or Lakio Kise contact you? Let's not speculate as to what could happen. I don't think so. Lakio Kise is a my Lord, I do not remember speaking with um, Lakiwe Mkiza on the phone. I don't remember him making a phone call to me. I don't remember picking up a phone call only to find that it's Lakiwe Mkiza's voice on the other end. No, it never happened. I've never spoken to him on the phone. What I know, my lord, is that I have met him, yes, but I've never spoken with him on the phone. <coughs> yes. Anything got to by ten, ma'am? The number of Mr. Lakiwe Mikize being oh, I, no, I don't know that. 2783478564444. You see that? Um... Number I am lucky when keys the liar. Yeri two seven eight three four seven eight. Uh, that's actually oh eight three four seven eight five six four. Why what? I see, I see the, the telephone number, the cell phone number is uh, written here. And explain to the honorable court why then the towers pick up. That you might have called to Mr. Lakiwe Mekize on the 3rd of February 2018 at 9.51 from uh, the festival mall. Um, you call a guy in the tower and the TV to come to the show. Funny away, Lakiwe Mekize, where on phone really the 3rd of February 2018 in 9.51. 
ka tawa di aba bala bala piwa na bange i festival mall tower festival le camping park ne anti tu ko ko lele like yo loko ni tsuntsu ka kahle i date le nga ku ana ku discharge wa rv hi sukule ku se ana ku nela a le festival mall i tata a tata ni bona no ku se discharge le sepetle ntu tsuka ni shukuri le la court in ka ron ka re se ka khor ana a itsu tsuka ka hlana bara ya koma ra anga phone le phone ya yena so tshiri hi document a phone a ntsa ku no dzela ku um, um, uh, what, what comes to my mind, what I can I seem to recall now, is that uh, this festival mall tower, uh, this festival mall is in uh, Kempton Park. So I remember uh, that I was discharged from the hospital and baby Seele phoned me to say that she was coming over to the hospital to see me there. But I told her that, look, no, I've been discharged from the hospital. And um, she said that she would then meet me in Kempton Park. She used a phone that wasn't hers, was not hers, to phone me. I don't remember the number, but then I called her back to tell her exactly where she was to meet me in Kempton Park. You received a call from Kadisi and you returned that call. And when you returned that call, you called this number uh, 27834785644. See. In other ways, you received a call from uh, Kadisi and we wanted to come and visit you. Then you um <laughs> Indeed, so, my lord, that's exactly that. When I returned, uh, in fact, I called her back. When I called her back, I used the very same number uh, that she used to get hold of me. That's what I'm trying to say, my lord. Yes. So where did you get this number from your handset, I guess? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I, I did, my lord, from my handset, and then I called the number back. If, um, I'm just trying to understand. This would be the same motives of heaven die as was used by such a Machikiri, who looked at the cell number from the pocket of Wini Mashal, and he said the number that he called was yours. So you used more or less the same modus operandi. Am I correct? Um, nevalabla sona na manlovlo nuko materiale ya sona inga ya fana nisa na leshi sergeant Machikiri anga inisa sona loko akuma phone. Eshkwamensha mashaba elia mayen mashaba. Ivi at languta phone akuma kuleswa kuna number linga tira yo etelera iba phone la yona se akuma ku ishamroa imuno aisat se ilis na wena unga insasona kalis ku ukota kuba ubala bana pesilena. Son. Anu tumsele imfoneri. Hmm. Some men dogunu phone la bed dogunu phone la gaye yinga ngi. Mm. What happened here, my lord, in this instance is that Baby Sila called me. And when I needed to speak to her, 
uh, to phone her. I phone I used her phone number, but I couldn't get through. So I used the number which she used in the first place when she got hold of me to get hold of her. I'm just trying to understand, but if the uh, the, the witness is unable to assist me, I will be dead. Please proceed. Ma'am, can you link them to the next page? And that being sets out your communication with Mr. Akiwe Mkize with a different number. So Mr. Lakiwe Mkize has a different number being 072-536-0590. And amazingly, Ms. Nglovu, you had communication with Mr. Lakiwe Mkize on that number as well. Barke Lakiwe Mkize are now in Nguanyan Namar. The IT Risa, the Ungabalabla Nayena Yon, Kutir Sayon, the Lag 0725360590. Which page is that? I can't see that number. 11. Page 11, Mandrovu. Once again, if we go to the first column, we will find your number being 082059264800. Then the call card, second column, the date, third column, the call duration, fourth column, and the party, fifth column. The other party number being 277253605950. You see that now? Mando, the call angle that goes along with page 11, it has shown up the number of when. Yo inga tare wala ka kolumi yo kisungu la 082-059-2648 Ibu kulande la call type ili so call ayongena kumbe ayo umana Ibu kuwa date Nanka arilo u call inga teka oona Na kuriluwa mwanya na funiruwa iman Ta ibu wana kena mbara kwa la ku Yeri yin namba Yiri 072-536-0590. You see that, ma'am? What's one, Nicola? I do. So, on the 22nd of January 2018, according to the phone data, you called Mr. Lakiwe Mkizi and it was a 30-second conversation. Barke, it's simply rather the 22nd of January 2018. Ufonele, ufonele la kiwe mkize Sisa tikomba la yaku Eka kufona kawena Masairini la yaku Tikomba kwa kori rabu ngane la 52 Uka wala wala na yena isikuleri ya La kiwe mkize You see that man? What's one? No shuwa na mara ama anjumzuki Anjumzuki kwa anjumzuki kwa anjumzuki um, I see that. I do see that. I accept that there are calls between my number and that number, my, my lord. But I don't remember. I never spoke with Lakiwe Mkize on the phone. I don't know as to who it was that I was speaking to on the phone in these instances. I see the phone calls there. But there was nothing between myself and Lakiwe Mkize to discuss, so I had no reason to speak to him on the phone. Then as well, ma'am, on the 28th of January 2018, there was five calls between yourself and Mr. Lakiwe Mkize on this number. All four of those phone calls were outgoing calls, meaning you made those calls to Mr. Lakiwe Mkize. Actually, uh, January 2018, we have calls to five. We have to call 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 to I do see the, the calls. No, no. no, the phone calls that phone you put no good in there, what a phone you. And the number of 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 the number
Um, I do see the phone calls as recorded here, my, my Lord, but then as far as this number that ends with uh, 0590, as far as I knew, this number uh, belonged to KBC. Uh, I didn't know uh, the other MTN number, the 080 number, but this Vodacom one, as far as I knew, my Lord, it was KBC less number. And yet, the evidence was placed before the court, and it was never challenged that that number is not been missing, um, Lucky Wimkise's number, but in fact, Sebasile Kunene's number. Hey, Kuna Bundle Zingabiki was the candidate to Angi Kukatashana, Yakabis, Kunen, Aya Vincent, Yakabis. But not just as I was explaining uh, now now that um, when I took the time to look at this uh, cell phone number I do recall now I do have the recollection of my lord that this is the BCLS number the one that ends with the 0590 but then when it was, uh, when I was questioned about it, it was put to me that uh, uh, this is Jap uh, this is uh, the QM Kizer's number. I said I don't know his number. Just in, in response to that, when the warrant officer was testifying, he explained whose cell number was which cell number. And it was accepted, it was never challenged, as she put it to you, that page 6 of the 38 prevented the number of uh, cell numbers that belong to you, 1, 2, 3, 4, and one that belonged to Njawulu uh, Mkise, and one, two, three, four, that belongs to uh, the film keys. That was uh, uh, never uh, in this film. It was actually accepted that this is a reflection. What I say is it was never put to anyone that this number belongs to the What's the comment? Um, in the o balabula warrant officer loko nyika bumbuni eh subi ubi ahlamsela loko langutana ka page 6 of 38 la kunga na ti number ato hlaya ta wena na ti number ato hlaya ta la kiwe mkhize loko langutana loko hi ku ya hi ku hlayela ta wena i 1234 ta la kiwe mkhize na tona i Tarlua loko warrant officer ashamsela mboni zae na anga zanga ziri waku e, nambara imwanya ni katiti akumbi leti kuwe na unge iyala kumkiz inambu nambara ya KBC le Tarlo ashamsela kubun mboni zae na warrant officer. That's what the state is saying. Ileshi mchuchis um, miemero amfu mo abulak shona kulo warrant officer ba testify ba nyika mboni. But I'm saying, the phone number is not right. I'm saying, 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 If my memory uh, uh, helps me uh, well here with this, I remember when the warrant officer was testifying. In fact, 
he was just pointing out as to whose number is this, and he would point at another number and say whose number is that. But Sergeant, uh, rather, Advocate Soko did not have questions for him. He, he said he doesn't have questions. He did not cross-examine him. It's saying that uh, because we accepted the records of the cell phone towers, so there was no need for him to cross-examine him. My Lord, but uh, I may not have uh, remembered at that stage as to the phone numbers, but I know that I communicated mostly with Baby Seele. I never spoke with Nakio like, MKs. Okay. Mm. Uh, there was nothing for me to, to put or say to the QM keys at that time when he was testifying because I, I did not have his um, cell phone number, I didn't know his cell phone number. And I also didn't have uh, the cell phone record. Yes, when he testified, it was put to him, and that is the number that he said it's his. I never disputed that. I never accepted that it's his number because I didn't know uh, what cell phone number he was using. But the problem that I'm having is by your mere glancing at the number today, you identified this number as being belonging to Sebasile. Mr. Sebasile Kunene. Mm. Mm. you see, sometimes when one is faced with questions in court, sometimes one gets to be confused by the questions. And at the later stage, when uh, in hindsight, look at the question, you are able to realize what the real situation is. For instance, when I'm in prison, I would be able to remember that this number that I was being asked of, about, or the number that was testified to, um, it's the number that belongs to PBC. And um, coupled with the fact that as I am testifying now here today, I am able to see the number in full here. I am able to um, remember um, with ease that uh, it is BBC less number. Uh, my Lord, this is the number that I used to uh, use calling BBC. It's a Vodacom number. It made it easy for me to, to, to use this number to reach her because I was also using Vodacom a service provider. Ma'am, Mr. Lakiwe Mukise is going to testify and he said this is the number that he used. Malot, yes, he did come to testify, 
um, I did not dispute anything about his number uh, or agree with him on his number, which one, he, which number he was using, because I don't know Mr. Lakiwe Mkise's number. And when Warrant Officer Fenter came to explain page six of his um, report and explain the numbers attached to Mr. Lakiwe Mkise, why was that not disputed? See, Utile na warrant officer eh, Fente Mandru, Afrika Shamse Laku, iti iti nambara ta lakiwe mkize, ekati nambara leti ati Shamse la tani le shi, shinga shasha meti wala ka page 6 of 38. Le shonga subi kisa shona yena luka tala hansi nambara leti ya. Se shiputi iso Mandru, iku, iku la kai ina anga bziru wanku, iku tiba ka wena Mandru, nambara liya wena awi tirisa, awi fonela, pebisila ka yona, Not just as I responded to this question uh, by saying that um, I didn't know this number, but now that I see the number in full, now it um, comes to my mind that this is the number that uh, Febisile used uh, uh, to uh, reach me um, in most cases, in most instances. You see, now, since the place, that question of this number came during the re-examination. Mm. And you will recall that during the examination, um, Lakum Kise testified that he was in Tula Mahash. And they said, no, you were not in Tula Mahash. He said, if, because I come from Kese, and how would I have known about that? That's when this number was given. Then you said, that number is mine. Does that uh, help you? Look you still remember when uh, it was put to him, that uh, her mother stays in Bush Patricia and not Tula uh, Mahash. He responded saying, how do I know Tula Mahash because I come from uh, KZN. And that's when the court wanted him to answer the question. And he then said, my court here eh, on this number 0725364596. Is when he said there was a, you, there was an alleged plan, as he testified to, from you to kill the sister, the mother, and the child. And it's when he said you gave him some money. He went to look at the victims. He came to report, and you took a taxi. You left and he uh, took a taxi to go to Greece, and it's where he blew part of the money. Does that help you? I think I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to Push back, Krishna. I could not stop something. So I could not pull my case at end. See, if you look at the real shock, I am like a fish with this. So I will go a um phone real at the sun number earlier. Oh, seven two five three six zero five nine zero. Ela Kunga, Melela plan here. I recall Yaku at Laya, Sesquakwe, and Manuakwe Nashang. See, I'm so so. I think we should put a man to go to the Zukaku. The Makatana Maralituan. Namtana Maralituan, who is like him keys. The Bakuala Brito read Nayena like him keys. I will go with number ten. So, 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 and 
a lot. Um, I remember what Lakiwe Mkiza said in his evidence here, yeah, when what he testified to. I remember that. And um, even when the warrant officer was testifying, I never denied anything or disputed anything about the numbers which he said belonged to whoever. But at that time, I did not know uh, Lakiwe Mkiza's number. I didn't know which number I was using, and I'm saying so because I never spoke to him on the phone. I don't remember talking to him on the phone, this like you, MPs. I've put it to you, ma'am, that on, on the 29th of January 2018, you made two calls to Mr. Lucky Wemkize on this set number being 072-536-0590. January 2018, no, 29th, January. 29th, sorry. 29th, January 2018, but we can't get Number earlier, or for the lack of case. I managed to move and for the lack of money, and for the lack of money, and for the lack of money, and uh, was used to call that number but all I'm denying is that I spoke to uh, Lakiwe, that I was phoning Lakiwe because I had never spoken to him on the phone and um, that day in January 2018, it's some time ago, I may not recall uh, the details as to what I did, who I called on that day and um, as far as I knew when I called that number, I was phoning someone else, not Lakiwa. I never spoke to Lakiwa on that number. But then on the 30th, ma'am, 10 phone calls were made from your handset to the number of Mr. Lakiwa Mkize. Kambe, uh, it's 30. It's 30. You phone 10. Phone your way, you can phone your way, you can end with phone call to 10. I think I phone the number, I like you and Keith. Hey, understand, Andrew. As far as I can say, my lord, is that I was phoning someone else, um, not like you and Keith. This happened a long time ago. I don't know. I don't remember calling uh, like you and Kizer. I spoke to him on the phone. On the 2nd of February 2018, ma'am, I put it to you that you made four outgoing calls to the number of Mr. Lucky Wem Kizer being 0725360590. It is two, the 2nd of February 2018. Uh, Kize, if only our inner, your only is zero seven two five three six zero five nine zero. And Alimara may until one for a like you, Daniel. Just as I explained, my lord, I'm not denying that calls were made from my phone to that uh, phone number, but as far as I know, I was not calling like you were in keys. On the third of February 2018, Calls uh, were made between these two numbers. Uh, your handset made six phone calls, and Mr. Lakiwe found your number five times. But okay, February 3, February 2018. We are going to phone at the end. We are going to phone at the end. We are if I remember correctly, um, just like I said earlier, that on this day, the 3rd of February, uh, that's the day on which I was being discharged from the hospital. So uh, when I found this number, I was talking to Baby Sile as far as I can remember, as far as I know, not talking to Lakiwa Mkiza, my lord. 
you understand? You know, in relation to the evidence of the Lagoon Keys, he said to me, you know, he called you or you called him. The idea being that he wanted to come and visit him. And he said to then you advised him that he mustn't come because we have been discharged. And then you will make certain arrangements to go to Blue Park Ridge. Uh, I'm just putting this in context so that you can, you can help me to understand what this suggestion is so that you can give an appropriate answer. Um, oh. Am I correct, Mr. Sohn? Yes, when he said to you now, don't come to visit me. Mm. I basically thought, she told him not to visit mm. because, uh, you know, uh, she's been discharged. And also, that uh, uh, the victim has now shifted from Pono to uh, Abushka Beach. That's when they said to them, that's made for arrangements for Indeed, my Lord. Yes, my Lord, the is correct. Yes. So when we put this, let's put so that we can understand the, you know, the impact. Because if we just pick up the number, you know, necessarily. I just actually want to focus on the number of times the calls were communicated between. Um, okay, I hear you. I just want to focus on that. Okay. And that's okay. basically it. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. Do you think when it's now 21? 21, yeah. Exactly. Because we don't want to take the Yes. No, they're not going to Good, thank you. Um, but ma'am, if one goes to that page as well as page 12, there have been numerous phone calls between your handset and that of Lakiwe Mukise. Look on the page earlier, Mandu. Page 12. That's one of the tale that calls it at the Umelela Escarca when an hour like you and kids. Like the one that calls, Madame, and the other one like you, when I am not such a fool, you like you. What I'm disputing is that I did not know that this is like you. Uh, phone number. I do see the, the record as it's showing the phone calls there, but I didn't know that this was his phone number. May I can ask you now, when the police arrived there, when you were seated in the taxi at Bushpakarich, on the 7th of March 2018, do you recall? Sukulera, it is 7th of March 2018, Look, my poor Sata come out some in the gut hits a bush baggage at Texas rank. Yes, I recall. The police identified themselves to you, correct? My poor Sava be about the TV Saku, you over man, Kawe, and it. No, it No, no, no. They they only did that. That is introduce themselves uh, when um, uh, uh, people who works there at the taxi rank, the taxi officials, so to speak, interfered, uh, seeing the manner in which I was being handled by the police, uh, taking me out of the taxi. It's only then that they said we are police officers. That is uh, introduce themselves. And at that stage, did you not think that? Uh to alert those police officers that in fact Mr. Njabulo Kunene wanted to rob the traditional healer. He's the one that should be arrested, not you. Uh in Karwalo, I was just like a tanku tip some up for his alaku. And Jabulo Kunene Yena Louis Alabaku e coma nangalian kunzi. Um Nagur Kufanu Kumwaye and Highway. I was like a tank in Garolo, who was the last of my poor son. In Garolo, Pella Lugum Kumwala, Abanga Lavin Chamsalamina, Abanga Lavichu, Balo Shiga, Abasanaman, Abasanaman put this up. We had the guy in the door statement. You see, at that time, when, when I was uh, apprehended by the police, they did not want any explanation from me. Not at that point. They just instructed me to 
alight from the taxi, get out of the taxi, I go with them. They did not wait to hear any explanation from me. that you attempt to explain to them that in fact you are innocent of all that you are charged with the people that are blaming you wanted to commit offences um o ringetile na amantu o ringetile ku o ringeta ku bahlamsela ku kahlahle bana laba ba kulumbetaku em hi bo banga aba laba ku endla bugebenga kume ba la ku endla milanzu ya leyo awu ba bzelangi na ku wena u haba nanzu when I was young in Chum, a lava of an anized door, you call a kind of the lancers. Loku, by the which is a big city, the Lobusrans and Capolo, such as Zulu, and the Russian Puna, right up with men, I silence the answer to the rights of the sun and the Russian way. No, I will put the Abunia machine to put us off the book and the guy. Jabu and Carlo are one of one. No one's in the wood, Jabu, no way and the guy in the um, my lord, after I was taken out of the uh, taxi, uh, I was taken to a police motor vehicle. Uh, they make uh, thereof it's a it's a polo inside that car sergeant zulu then started explaining uh, rights to me you know those rights uh, where one is told of having a right to remain silent and the like he even stopped at some point and said there's no need for me to continue and complete this explanation to you about your rights because you are a police officer you know uh, such rights so uh in jabulo was around at that time. He was just in the vicinity there. So I told, uh, I asked him what is happening in Jabulo. Um, I even explained it to this Colonel Schlenge there that I, I know nothing, I'm innocent, and uh, as far as I know, I had accompanied these people over here to Bushbuck Ridge for them to see a traditional here. I didn't know if that was, was a crime. I should be arrested for that, for accompanying people. Uh, to see a traditional healer in uh, Pushpak Ridge. According to you, Mr. Ndabulo Kumene wanted to rob the traditional healer. Is that not correct? Kambe, you can see that the man is not a man. He is not a man. He is 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 a man. Um, okay, now shit. My lord, when when uh, we left uh, uh, at first uh, or initially, all I knew is that we we're going to. I was taking them to Bushbuck Ridge to see a traditional healer, but when we were in. Uh, uh, Bushpark Ridge at the at the garage in Hazy View, place called the Hazy View. Um, it was after we alighted from the vehicle. It was just the two of us. That is myself and Jabulo Gunene, where he he mentioned this to me that if he notices or sees that um, the traditional healer that we are going to make use of to see uh, is somebody who is wealthy who has money. He's going to rob the traditional healer. That's what he explained to me at that stage when we we're already in uh, Bushpark Ridge. But when we left for Bushpark Ridge initially, all I knew is that they were going to see a traditional healer. And again, the and and um, just to add on that, my lord, that's when um, Jabulo and I started not uh, getting along, uh, because on on our way, uh, he made me say that uh, uh, 
we were going to Bush Park Ridge to kill my sister and her children and my mother. And now, when we get to Bush Park Ridge, he was telling me that he was intending to rob if he sees that the traditional healer has money. So I was starting to question him as to what is it exactly that is happening. So at that point, Jabul and I were, were no longer seeing eye to eye. As a police officer, why didn't you open a case? Open a case for what? A person informing you that he's going to rob the traditional healer. Munu lagu bzela kuku. Uya ku komeni nganga nkunze. Aya ru yezi vu garaj. Mm hmm. Aya ru kele nage bush patrish. Nyawa komba kange. Mm. Mm. We were still on our way to Bush Park Ridge. We were at uh, a place called Hazy View, and um, he just verbalized that. He was just mentioning that it's not something that he was acting upon at that stage. And that is why, from that point on, me and them were no longer seeing eye to eye and I requested them to give money, to give me money in order for me to travel back, to go back. I can put it to you that um, you um, killed witness Madara Hall. Poor Ke Madovi, I was going to tell you that I was going to witness Madara Hall. I was going to tell you that I was going to tell you that I was going to tell you that I'm shocked to hear that. It's my first time to hear that today. I don't know about that, my lord. Ma'am, sorry. You know, you may not know about that, but uh, what do you say? Did you kill or you didn't kill? Yeah, unga bonga Steve Mandlovu. Uri yin mara. Ungu dayil kumba ungu dayang witness matala umuna. I did not kill him, my lord. I further put it to you, ma'am, that you killed your own sister, Ms. Audrey Sumisa Mandlovu. Orke na se sawe na umutayil odri somi sa love. I did not kill my sister. Um, I don't know what is being put to me. It's my first time to hear that here today here in court. I heard a British man that you defrauded um, client that limited. One life insurance and financial insurance in respect of your deceased sister, Audrey Sumisa and Global. A barke a uivele, Kumbe could take a la singer fanelangi, a nai bushisi, a vaca clientel, take a malicabona, Navaca one life insurance, na old mutual. A le su melele and the Gagulovaca, Sesuawe, Audrey Sumisa. I did not commit any fraud. I did not defraud them of any money. Um, how would I uh, defraud them money? Because even for the premiums, they were deducting from her account. I did not commit any fraud, madam. So that I put it to you, ma'am, that you think that, uh, or that you um, stand with evidence on the scene. Where all these Somisa Mlovo's bodies was discovered on the 26th of June 2013. See, Barge, Langa Kumeka and Tumbua says, Away, Audrey Somisa Mlovo. Ufikela, O Kangani, Sakumbe Kusula, Kutumbeta, Shkongo Melosho Tumbeta, Umboni, Sukula Rati 26th of June 2013. Antum Melis, Tani Loku, Muri Lenuku, Andros and Akusulis, Absolute Missagate, Mamina. I, I, I dispute all that, my lord. Uh, council can put it all she wants, but I dispute all of it. I don't agree to that. I took the cups which were inside. It was not an intention to tamper with evidence. Uh, it wasn't tempering with evidence because even the cups that we used to drink tea with 
were not inside the room, they were outside. So I don't agree with that, my lord, I'm disputing it. Ma'am, I put it to you that you killed young Wani Maurice Matasa on the 14th of October 2015 <laughs> Yeah. My lord? Can you just explain the exact last portion that we say want to do, let them do it? Because I said it correctly. No, no. No, no. no. You should go like, like, like. I should go. Hmm. But I'm not saying that. Is she saying that if the court is saying that she committed the crime, the offense, so be it? That's what she's saying, my lord. Explain that. So now, may we. Take the time to, to interpret yes. the whole uh, statement that you made, my lord. I just wanted that to get yeah. because uh, we needed to have it, uh, you know, in written down. As the court pleases. My lord, I did not kill um, Yungwani Morris Mabasa. The last time I saw him, it was the morning of the 13th of October 2015 when he left for work. Um, I only learned of his death uh, on the 13th when I was on my way to Oliphant's Fontaine Police Station when I received a call from Sergeant Mugwari. But then if counsel puts it to me that I did that, she can do that all she wants, but I'm disputing that I did not kill uh, Yingwani Morris Mabasa. There is no even proof of that here in court. There's no proof. There's no evidence to prove that I did so, my lord. I'm disputing that. I put it to you, ma'am, that you then also defrauded Ashupal and Mr. Mashaba um, in, res in regards of the policy of Mr. Yamwani Maurice Mabasa. See, it's the policy that Yamwani Maurice Mabasa, Kumbe, the policy I am. If you take a look at the family, you can see that Ashupal is and they go, she saw Mr. Mashaba. Mm. Mm. I did not defraud um, uh, Ashupol, my lord. The um, money that was paying for these policies or this policy was deducted from his account. Morris was, was um, a, a learned somebody, a, a, an educated person. He would knew that something is amiss if uh, uh, monies were just going off his account without his knowledge. So I did not defraud anyone. Payments for these uh, um, uh, 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 policies came from his own account. But if you that you also killed Mota. Zanele Hmm. A lot, um, uh, how would one say that I killed Zanel? I didn't. Um, how would I do that? Even in the first instance when Zanel got injured, I was not the person who was contacted. It was director. Uh, I was not present there. My crime was to take Zanel home. Uh, Zanele, I took her home because when she got injured, she had uh, uh, come from my home. She left from my home. So, but if the court uh, deems it in that way that I killed Zanele, let it be so. There's nothing that I can do do about that. But I'm saying that I never, I did not kill Zanele Mota. Mm -hmm.
Iman Upuna is one man of Wena. I see the Macatini Yawena, Ungazutu Bangala Tikiruana is on. Aunanti Ruakuva, O Mesabumbo, Combeta Kuena, who have a nant. The state must put all the allegations against you beyond respect of time. A Mimer one form. Mchuchisi, ye na faneta fanda kukomba bumboni la. E ku handeka kana kana kumbe bumboni zoka bzinga kana kanis ku wena unana zuku desbango us endi us endi. I'm saying this because I'm the chair. That's why I requested the translation of saying if the court says so, let it be so. The court can only arrive at the Your answer is either you know you agree or you don't agree. Don't try to impute anything to the court. In Gisela Mandrov, um, Wabonatani, the Shingabulaku, a Na kona bumboni zoka bzinga kana kani siku wena unanaanzo. Um, kuba koto yi tekanka yi kushamsela lishu. Kuba yi karateki ili mashamlele ya wena. Luku shamsela ku. Luku ku koto yi steksa sona. Asubitan kwa abalishu wena ngatash end. Um, ufane ustiwa ku kuna materele lawa ya lanzeliru waku. Luku kutengwa naanzo. Um, koto yi fanele yi ingisela bumboni. Ibi fike la kashbo shayona anza ka lo kukula nguti wili mbon le bya kahle nkwabzo nakuba itirisa nawo kutirisa nawo ku endla indlela leyi nawo kubula ku leswaku ku endliswa xona lo kukula nguti wa bumboni wena eka ngarwa swiswi u hava nandzu a u siboniwa uri na nandzu eh sweso eh na ku tisisa ku eh switivi leswaku a u siboniwa uri na nandzu nakona Eh, kutaranga kula ngutu wabu mboni, kusungula kubu mboni, lebzi, zikombe taku unananzu kumbe waba nanzu na. Ato anana mandu. I understand that. I started to finalize the Zalele Mota. And listen here, light the man. You then killed Zalele Mota's brother, Mr. Mayeni Mashaba, on the 10th of April 2017. Barke eh, kungasela na lembe eh, anza kalu kutaye zanele mota. Ubiye utaya eh, makwabuwa zanele mota. Washinuna butuwa yena bange imayeni. Mashaba. De shu melele isuklera rati 10th April 2017. I did not do that. Man. I deny that. I didn't do that. Further put it to you, man, that during the period of December 2017, um, you conspired with Mr. Njabulo, Vincent Kunene, and Mr. Lakiwe Mkize to kill your sister, Nomasonto Gladys Nglover. Um, Barke, in December 2017, Uboish Kungu, Urna Lakiwe Mkize, Vincent um, uh, Kunene, uh, Njabulo, Vincent Kunene. Mi boish kungo shakuri eh, mi tadlaya seswa wena no masondo gladis grovu. Le shumelele eka ya mwanyane masiku ya ngwetea December 2017. Mm -hmm. No, my lord, I don't know about that. I don't know that. I deny that, my lord. Further for the G-man, that uh, during the period 22nd of January, up until 24 January 2018, and near Pimbisa and Dwarshlo in the district of Pushpak Ridge, you killed 
Brilliant. Okay. 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 I don't agree, my lord, with that. I deny that. I don't know about that. But it, but it you, ma'am, that you conspired with Mr. Lakiwe Mukise uh, during the period of February 2018 to kill your sister Joyce Nglobu as well as your mother, Maria Miyavana Mushwana. Um, Barke, uh, Eka Nguitia, February 2018, eh o boys kungu na la kiwem kize ku metadlaya se so wena eh Joyce Ndlovu na mani wa wena Maria Nyabane eh Mushwana andi so amse ntanga silo se so anistivi ambi maki utile court akune sura kushokola court anistivi um that's not true i did not do that i didn't commit uh, that offense even my mother came to court to testify. She said that she doesn't know about that. In fact, uh, she first uh, learned of it, came to know about it here in court. It's not true. Further put it to you, ma'am, <clears throat> that on the 7th of March 2018, um, you attempted to kill Joyce Nglovu and her children, Keta Kuchle Nglovu and Nontando Nglovu, and Ansani Nglovu and Mboyelo Nglovu as well as Sefiso Nglovu. Um, Barke, the 7th of March 2018, Uboishkungu na ena kunene ku metafamba mea mea daya siso awe na bana bayena. Sesawe kunga Joyce and Lovu. Banaba Sesawe kunga ba Ketogu send Lovu, Nontan don Lovu, Anzani Lovu, Mbuyen and Lovu na Sifiso Lovu. And the so Kumalega Joyce Naba Jabulo Kunaba and Fikang. That's not true, uh, my lord. I never even uh, reached uh, Joyce's home. Uh, together with Njabulo, Kunene, and the others. I never got to um, my sister's place of residence uh, together with them. Even, even, even at New Forest, we never reached New Forest together with them. I never went to New Forest together with them. In fact, uh, even the police who arrested me were shown by me at uh, Joyce's home. So I don't know uh, how it is meant when it says that I attempted uh, to, to have her killed. Now for the questions for the Examination of July happened uh, postponed until tomorrow to go through all the evidence and see whether there are any uh, points that you want to make an examination. My Lord, I have no reservation for this, uh, for the witness. So you don't have it? Yes. You know, that's why I'm asking you whether you want it. You know, Jeremy, you know, what the police consider your position quite clear. But if you don't, you don't. Can you just, 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 just take the brief of whether there are uh, any points that she would like you to raise in the next generation? And regarding the fact to the purpose of the examination, mm -hmm. you know, the fact that the police would like you to raise in the next generation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not may I approach you? Please. Or shall we take a shot at him so and say that there must be some kind of uh, privacy? privacy. 
The Cordial James, let me just see, it's now five past me, let me come in at half past. That's the only thing. James? Yes. And here, 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 here